All right, right into the concert we go. Where's that vampire? He was just there. Can't tell people from from these monsters. Nope. Those are people. Where are the vampires? Ah, oh, there they are. There we go. Hey Z, I just saw a banner of Father Ignatius smiting demons. You think about that guy? I know he's got a badass mustache. I've seen a statue over by the cathedral. You thinking he had some kind of technique for dealing with the blood guzzlers? Yeah, I'm just hoping it works without having to get ordained. Vow of chastity and all that. Okay, so you can't go through walls with that swarm thing. You can only go above stuff. Oh, that's a pretty cool ability. The way it allows them to just kind of traverse land faster in a swarm of bats. But I'm still wondering what the the overall goal is here. Like, I know that thing said eight hours until she takes over, but still trying to get what the whole idea is behind this little DLC here. Huh, a boss real early on. Let's go. Oh, two of them. Holy shit, what's shooting? Oh, they're shooting. <laughs> Took a right out of the tree like a coconut. Oh, wow. This isn't working at all. I'm gonna need some blood immediately. Okay. Electricity will work as well, which is good. All right. Okay. So I guess we're fully in now. We're fighting demons, vampires. We still have our abilities. Still. Oh man. Yep. This is this is not gonna be easy. I can I can already see. Gotcha. Where's the third one? Get out of the trees and come fight me already. Alright. Are there any more? I'm assuming so, because gunfire aplenty. Oh, oh no. There she is. Staker. All right, um, so I'm just going to keep moving towards the main objectives here because the side missions I'm not really too concerned about. I'm still interested to know what this whole story is about. Whatever it is, it's still somewhat elusive to me as to what the purpose of all of this is Gather around, good people, and take a seat.
Gather around good people and take a seat. What are we taking a seat to look at? The secrets of Iron are about to be revealed. Come on and let me take you all back in time, friends. Back to the early days of Moomeray. The streets of our town were filled with laughter, and the people were full of hope. Until folks started disappearing from the streets at night. Only one man, Father Ignatius, was brave enough to walk in the shadows, hunting for the devil who would harm his flock. <laughs> Father and it was Ignatius. From the shadows that he spotted her, a vile woman, feeding on a man's flesh. And as fast as a thought, she was gone, taking refuge in the crypts beneath the city. That very night, Ignatius rallied his fearful parish to action, leading the way down into the crypts. And as they came upon the nest of sinners, he held aloft his holy barbed cross, and the sinners scattered like cockroaches from its holy light. But their leader, Bloody Mary, she wasn't <laughs> fast enough. Bloody Mary's one ugly broad. Tied her to a pile, and as flames licked at her heels, the devil woman revealed her true form while shouting out a curse, vowing that one day she'd return and take her revenge. Well, excuse me. What happened me. to Ignatius, you ask? Well, he's still with us, my friends, buried in Saint Charles Cemetery. Right alongside his barbed cross. And that's why we burn, my friends, to warn Bloody Mary's ghost and all the other sinners of this world to stay clear of Numeray. You can dance, sing, and walk the streets. Cause nothing, and I mean nothing, is gonna eat you on fire night. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 well. What an odd story. So this is this is what this is all about, huh? All right, Z. I need you to look up where Ignatius is buried at St. Charles Cemetery. Turns out he was in tomb with some sort of vampire killing relic. No problem. All them goths love to make cemetery maps and then put them online. Man, I'd love to get me a goth girl. All that eye makeup. <laughs> Goth chicks are pretty hot. I have to agree with Z. Okay, so that's what this is all about. Um, so yeah, I guess this is the the beginning of Infamous Two: Festival of Blood. I'm going to make the assumption that, despite the fact that it was a three gig upload, that it's not that long because it said that it was eight hours until daylight. So, I'm assuming once daylight comes, that's probably when the final battle should have already taken place and when the DLC ends. But again, that's just an assumption on my part. I could be completely wrong. But whatever it is, so far, I'll tell you, for seven bucks, this is probably one of the best pieces of DLC that are going to be released this year. And it's real DLC. It didn't come out a week, a day. And a couple of hours after the game was released so you know the team actually took some time to develop this and it wasn't something that was just sitting around on the infamous 2 disc that they decided to tweak it a bit and then release it to us and charge us more money for content that we were already privy to so that's cool a lot of respect for the team for doing this and it, it came out right around the correct time. Halloween is almost here in America and kind of fits in with the theme of evil and everything that goes on around Halloween. So this this will be a nice little distraction for people that are really into the infamous story, really into Halloween, and have the extra eight bucks to spend on this. For eight bucks, you really can't go wrong, but with everything else that's coming out, Wondering if now was the right time. Let's take a look at this mission. Hey Z, looks like I'm a little late. Vampire's 
Wow, isn't that a beautiful vampire? Ah, they took the relic. Damn, dude. <laughs> so these are instantaneous vamp. Holy crap. These are instantaneous vampires. And since when did vampires bite and feed on other vampires? Don't they go after the living so that they can get blood? I'm being attacked by vampires. That's kind of ridiculous. Well, not so much I'm being attacked, but the fact that I'm being bitten by vampires kind of takes away from the whole... What the hell? Come on, get, get off of my back, dude. Huh, I guess you shake them off of it, your back and they're dead. It's not much electricity around here, though, I'll tell you that. Defeat the firstborn. Oh my god, every one of these firstborns are on my back. Come on, let's fight. Don't leap onto my back like some sort of a weirdo. Oh my god, I need health. I need health. Uh, yes, I'm good. It's weird, though. Why did I forget about the fact that I have an attack like that and I don't have to get right up in the faces of these things? Oh! Wow. Oh man. Do I still have my grenade? My electric grenade or whatever that was? Let's see. Oh, yep, still got it. And that's working real well against those things as well, so try to stick with using that. Uh oh, get out of the way, Cole. Oh, you bastard. Are you serious? That should have gotten him, man. Ah, oh, don't die on me, buddy. Don't die on me. A couple more of those should take care of him. Where did he go? Where did he go? He's behind me. Got him. Staked him and he's down. Alright. So there it goes, guys. The first half hour or so of uh, infamous Festival of Blood. You guys could definitely make the decision to decide if this is worth your seven uh well eight bucks if you're a playstation plus ten bucks if you're not for me it's definitely worth it it seems decent it's an odd side story to the infamous story but hey we'll see where they're going with this i am goat the great and i would like to thank you for having watched my little preview of this and i'll see you guys when i make my next video all right peace